So today this 100 psi pump arrived in the post and I've just hooked it up to some tubing and it's just actually running into my kitchen sink uh, just to give it a test. I've got it hooked up to a bench power supply. I was a little bit skeptical about this because uh, this was the cheapest one I could find as a buy it now on eBay so it was about $23 including postage and these are supposedly caravan pumps uh, for water systems inside caravans and um, camper trailers and that kind of thing motorhomes and things like that I found some videos of very similar models uh, on YouTube and you see people hooking high pressure tubing up to them uh, running garden hoses and things like that. Now if you convert um, 100 psi to kPa you get almost 700 kPa which is about what mains pressure here in my city runs at. So in theory this is a very uh, powerful pump uh, when running at full power. Um, and sure enough uh, it actually has uh, a little sensor on the end, which is this bit right up the back where those two wires run into and that's actually a pressure sensor that trips at 100 psi so it will actually turn itself off temporarily uh, when it's at full pressure on its outlet. Um, and that's not really why I brought this, I brought this more for a heat pump project that's uh, something I've been working on. Um, but the other reason people might be interested in this pump is um, actually for stuff like uh, uh, water cooling computer parts and things like that. I've been through a lot of water cooling pumps before and most of them really, really, really suck. Um, so I think this would actually uh, be quite good. Um, and if we turn it on... We see that it's actually self-priming as well, which is a huge plus. I hate pumps like this that don't self-prime. They're completely worthless in my opinion. Um, but this one seems to have no trouble. Now this is actually only running at 4.9 volts, or let's just say 5 volts, and it uses less than 5 watts. Um, but it's actually a pretty good flow rate. Uh, considering I've got about two and a half meters of tubing attached to it. Um, so I'm quite impressed with that actually. And if you wanted to use this for cooling computer stuff, you could actually run it on an even lower voltage. So it, it's still running at about three volts, but it's almost completely silent now and yet you know still moving still moving more water than most water cooling pumps would um, what else I don't actually have a pressure gauge to try and get a hundred psi out of this and this tubing would just bust off that connection anyway um, but I have no doubt that this could actually get to some very very high pressures uh, if we turn this up to 12 volts you can see that it only uses um, about one and a half amps which is half of what it's supposedly rated for uh, it's rated up to three amps on the label but you know Chinese products, I'm always a bit skeptical of labels and ratings. Um, so if I do come across a pressure gauge that goes up to that 100 psi mark, uh, I definitely would like to hook it up to this just to see what it can do. Um, but for my purposes, I have no doubt that this will be a uh, good little pump. Alright, that's it. Thanks.